Hey everybody, Paul James Caden here with the Spirits Channel. Uh, in this session, I just want to do a, uh, a quick sit down session with the Ghost Tube Vox. Uh, we're in the middle, of course, of another heat wave, heat advisory, so it's not advisable to go out. It's a little difficult to uh, get out to the cemeteries and go out exploring. Uh, so I have to come up with uh, these creative ways to uh, do sessions and uh, make videos. But um, in this particular video, I want to talk about uh, this spirit by the name of Edward. As many of you know, it seems that he and many of his uh, followers or fellow spirits uh, seem to hijack or try to infiltrate uh, my sessions. They're constantly saying his name. Uh, there's cursing and swearing, foul language and name calling, which I don't want to be a part of my sessions. So I'm thinking about actually and honestly doing an exorcism to exercise Edward from my sessions from my space my energy no longer allowed to enter in I don't know uh, how exactly uh, that will go um, because I do feel he is a human spirit and not a demonic entity but uh, I'm, I'm thinking I want to give this a try I do know how to do an exorcism I am uh, actually an ordained minister. I was ordained in 19, 1991, I believe it was, and I'm also a, an ordained spiritualist and a metaphysical minister. Uh, back in the day, in, in the 90s, I was thinking I wanted to start a church and go that route, but I'm glad I didn't because now I believe whatever your spiritual beliefs, whatever your spiritual path is, it's all about personal spirituality and not religion and religious dogma. Uh, but I do know that um, the name of Christ is quite effective in dislodging evil and negative spirits. I've done my fair share of house cleansings uh, back in the day. When I got into the paranormal and the spiritual path, I was the guy everybody called when they had a question or if they had something going on in their house that was not, uh, you know, pleasant. And uh, I've seen the power of the name of Christ in prayer and uh, that particular ritual to get rid of these things. So Edward seems very hung up on always saying his name is the spirits around him that he brings with him, always saying his name. So perhaps it's time for the name of Edward to collide with the greater name of Christ uh, because this is getting a little bit uh, ridiculous with what's going on with this Edward character. And I know some people believe that there are no evil spirits. Uh, they're just spirits who have lost their way. And I do believe that there are spirits who are kind of in a purgatory state. You know, they're, they're working out, you know, their journey toward the light or their salvation, if you will. But I do believe there are also evil spirits. And some of those evil spirits are what we call demonic uh, entities. And I do believe that the spirit of a human being can be an, e an evil spirit because the intentions of their heart, their intentions toward us, their intentions in general are just dark and evil and malignant. So I do believe there are evil spirits who are beyond, uh, you know, what we would call redemption. Um, I wanted to make mention real quick, my friend uh, Paul Faircloth did a session uh, the other day called the the bathroom session that just keeps giving and giving I'm gonna leave a link to that video uh, in the description of this video uh, if you get a chance watch it because the name of Edward is mentioned uh, it's talking about you know something brewing and you know darkness 
uh, Edward taking uh, a bite out of people who belong there. So I, it, it seems like almost like they're planning something. So I'm not feeling really good about this spirit. And uh, that's why I'm saying I think the name of Edward needs to collide with the greater name of Christ and uh, put a stop to some of this foolishness. So that's what this session is going to be about today. I'm going to ask the spirits what they think of the idea of exercising Edward and if Edward himself wants to chime in how he feels about this because frankly I want no part of uh, if Edward's listening which it seems he's always jumping in on sessions I'm tired of your nonsense I'm tired of your foul language I'm tired of your evil intent and uh, I'm going to release the higher powers of heaven against you to exercise you from my life, my sessions, and uh, frankly, I don't think the name of Edward stands much of a chance with that. So let's turn the, uh, the ghost tube vox on and uh, see what comes through. Are there any spirits, and I'm calling on high spirits only to come to this session today, high spirits from the light to speak to me about this situation through this device and this app are there any spirits around me right now well, then that not a good thing did not appear when you're out I would like to ask the, I would like to ask the high spirits what are, your, what are your thoughts on me doing an exorcism on Edward of Edward Holding the be successful. idea to exercise, Wait, to exercise Edward from my sessions. Exorcism be effective against him. I saw him. Funny. Would an exorcism be effective against Edward and his cohorts? about me about to do a full 
pledge exorcism on him. You know. Does this frighten or disturb him? Credits. Holding the lead. Would it be advisable for all paranormal research See my own who are being disturbed who are being disturbed by Edward? Would it be advisable for all of us to exercise him, bind him, cast him out, whatever ritual or prayer that we have? Get rid of him. Would it be advisable that we all do this to get rid of this, uh, very, this, this very despicable spirit? What does Edward have planned that the, that the spirits told Paul Faircloth they don't like what, what's brewing? It's really... What is he planning? What is he trying to do? What's his aim? Name? Edward's plan. What's his end game? Yeah, these are. state and the but he's become so so resentful so selfish so arrogant he's trying to oppress other earthbound spirits or spirits in a purgatory state or get them to join him to amass some kind of army. That it's almost like the the story of Lucifer. It's almost like the story of the parable of Lucifer. To take over to oppress spirits and people. Almost to be God. Radio. Edward has a God complex. All of this I just is all of this I just said correct. What will happen if 
by Exercise Edward. defeated to this process.
No, you don't stand a chance. Because look at the time my, my personal guides threw you out of the session. And it sounded like you took a couple of lumps there. You're a bully, sir, and a, and a big mouth. this conversation and um, is in the truck say they love me, are you going to back me up during this exorcism? Are you going to be there to mount the spiritual and heavenly forces against Edward and drive him out of this space, drive him out of our sessions? Spirits be going to bat for me during this exorcism. Was out of I mean um. this isn't something I'm gonna be doing on camera, I'm gonna be doing this 
you know, behind the scenes. What a break! But I think this is something I'm going to be doing very soon because I've had quite enough of uh, this, uh, just this nastiness and ugliness and negativity. That's not what I do these sessions for. So thank you, spirits, for any words or messages Watch. you may have left. I thank all of you for watching. And uh, stay tuned. I will let you know uh, when I do the exorcism, and we'll see what effect it has on the sessions. They are in a pen. And uh, let's say you are in a panic. No, I'm not in a panic. I think Edward's in a panic. If that was you, Edward, I think you're projecting. I've just had, I've just had enough of your nonsense. I don't know who you think you are, what you, what you think you're going to do. you think you're going to elevate yourself Play in this. And about us. against God you're, you're in the afterlife you're a ghost you're a spirit which in my opinion proves there is a higher world we all go to the light there is a God there is a higher power that how your power brought you into existence. How do you think you're going to stand against it? I believe you will experience what is called the second death, which is soul annihilation. You will no longer be. You'll be nothing, not even a memory. So you're just playing this charade on borrowed time, my friend. I'm skeptical. He broke out. You're in a purgatory state. A calorie death. That we can... Which means you are deciding where you go from here, to the light or to the outer darkness and annihilation. That choice is yours. Those are the only two choices you have. Aaron. There's nothing else, Edward. That is a win. Change. That's right. He needs to not. You say not? That's your, that's your choice. That is your choice. But you'll be one sad soul when all is said and done. That's all I got to say. But you probably don't care. You're so arrogant. You're so spiritually dead. All you can see is yourself. You can't see the writing on that. peanut. But it's coming. You may have left a word or a message. Calvinist. Thank all of you for listening. And we will talk again soon. Bye for now, and God bless.